The video ain't froze, man. What's up, y'all? It's Shadow the Archangel here, aka Stop Brands, aka Stop Brands. There's nothing else that really matters at this point. Stop Brands or nothing, baby. So we're back at this again. Just wanted to continue this war talk. This war talk with you all that war and business are the same. This is not just like, oh, some political thing. No, this is just a opinionated analogy that I'll try to support with some historical precedent. Let's get into it. Part two of war and business is the same. You have to be relentless. You have to be relentless, man. If, if you all are trying to do this small business thing, you're trying to do this entrepreneur thing, Every day is not going to be sunshines and rainbows. Every day is not going to be easy. Every day is not going to be to where you feel like you're even making progress. But you have to be relentless and you have to stick to your consistency. Because a lot of times people faint and give up when they try to get their big whams or get everything all at once. When sometimes your wealth is accumulated little by little and by doing many different things that add up. So you have to be relentless. Some historical precedents about that is one, Caesar and Gaul. We talked about that yesterday. Took this man eight years. He didn't see his wife. He didn't see his family. Rome was laughing at him. Everybody thought his campaign was a failure. It took him eight years years to conquer the territory he set out to conquer then he came back and he had to still take his position that he felt like he earned by force so it's not always going to be what you expect it to be but you have to be relentless people have to feel like they are surrounded by your product until they actually give it a chance i'm gonna get into that be, uh, because of why there was a guy that wrote like this small little pamphlet. I wouldn't really even call it a book. It's like a pamphlet of Thomas. It's, Tom, it's called Thomas Smith's Guide to Successful Advertising, 1885. It's an advertising book, so to speak, from the past that if you look at it, everyone still does it today. You know why I'm not really going to be the detail guy on here because I want you all to go read it and find the information for yourself. Thomas Smith's Guide to Successful Advertising, 1885. What that document says, ultimately, is it's going to take people seeing your messages and your ads up to 20 times, repeatedly up to 20 times, before they take action. And then they have to go through a range of emotions. That's from not caring to then anger. And then once the anger passes, they'll start talking to people about it. Like have they bought it? Have they tried it? And then on the 20th time, they will finally buy it. And that's just a financial example. So let's get back to the historical precedent example of war. If you look at our great leaders, Abraham Lincoln, if you look at the Civil War, the Civil War was brutal. It was America versus America, and then it ultimately turned into a war of attrition. If you, those who don't know, a war of attrition is outlasting people with resources. So basically declaring war and then, well, bruh, we're going to fight these little skirmishes as much as we can. And whoever just get, can't fight no more just can't fight no more. That's a war of attrition. That's a brutal war strategy. It's long and it takes a long time. But the North prevailed. And thanks to that, people like me can walk around in the streets without chains. So with that being said, I'm not going to make this video super duper long. I know I only gave you three examples, but... Attention spans are getting shorter, so I know you don't want to watch all of this. Anyway, war and business are the same. 
I know I said similar in the last video, but now I'm sticking to my guns. They're the same, man. Be relentless. Make people feel surrounded by your product and service until they buy it. Don't spam, there's a way to do it. But be consistent with your messages. Don't give up, don't feel stupid. Just like you consistently do your job, even though sometimes you don't like it because you know there's an outcome at the end, do your business like a job, like you know there's an outcome at the end. So put in the work, baby. Now, gang, now we out. Thank you again for watching Stop Brands. Type zero on the way. Walmart, Wish, Amazon, eBay, my own website, stopbrands.com. Type zero on the way this month. We waiting on the packaging. I'm super excited. Subscribe, like, smash the button. Subscribe, subscribe. Now, okay. we out.